As Rosalind Carter stated, there is nothing more important than a good, safe, secure home. But it was stated that in a single night in 2018, 550,000 Americans did not have a home to go to. The top causes for homelessness are because of unemployment, poverty, substance abuse, and the lack of needed services, mental illness, and the lack of service needed. But most importantly, the lack of affordable housing. Homelessness is a large issue in the United States that is costing our country billions. We already have the resources and funds in order to end homelessness, but they are not being distributed properly. Many people have developed solutions to end homelessness, but these solutions haven't always been executed properly. Our country has the funds available to end homelessness, but the funds haven't been invested or directed in the correct areas to truly help with homelessness. Many have made efforts to help with homelessness, but what we are missing is complete support to end homelessness. through the hospital quite regularly um, because there's no opportunity if you're moving quite frequently there's no opportunity to do preventative care so um, homelessness affects our economy um, because the rate of our hospitalization is higher and that um, that costs the state um, when we're talking about strategies everyone's thinking about ending homelessness but no one can really come up with how, what that would look like because um, ultimately people, people who are homeless a lot of times are unable to work. So how are you providing housing for someone who is unable to um, contribute to it? So we have lots of programs where there's subsidized housing and the subsidized housing is dependent on income and you have to at least be trying to work or um, getting uh, social security or disability. Um, and within that subsidized housing, um, from the states that I've seen, it, it, it's worked pretty well, but it's not nearly enough. And something else to think about is a lot of times people who are homeless choose to be. So we have shelters in place and we have um, subsidized housing and other things. And there is a, a level of the population that um, is comfortable living um, in this way. And so we have to kind of take that into account as well. excellent organizations out there. I worked for Salvation Army for a while that does permanent supportive housing um, for individuals with mental illness. So that's just like a small portion of uh, the homeless population. We can benefit our homeless community by first being very grateful for the things that we have, right? Um, and, um, being aware of our community and our community's needs. So um, knowing your neighbors um, and uh, if, you, if it's something that you're interested in to uh, volunteer your time at a soup kitchen or a homeless shelter, um, you know, because those are all um, paid hours to staff otherwise. So any kind of volunteer. start with contacting your uh, state representatives um, they've got they should have their finger on the trigger they should be aware of the issues and if you don't um, you know if that's not an option that you're comfortable with you can connect with Salvation Army you can connect with 
United Way. United Way is basically the 411 for all help services. Um, and it's a pretty great network that every state has to kind of help you tap into resources that you might need. There are over 10,000 organizations that have been created to help end homelessness in the United States. These organizations have tried to come up with options that will allow the homeless citizens of America to be housed and cared for. These charities don't have all of the funds in order to end the crisis of homelessness, but throughout the years they have faithfully assisted the homeless and cared about their plight. Many would argue that homelessness is an expensive problem that is too difficult to deal with. They say that we are slowly making a difference, but that it would be too expensive to try to end homelessness suddenly. Experts also argue that not all homeless people want to change their ways. They have issues that are too difficult to solve, like mental illnesses and drug addictions. As mentioned before, we have many organizations in this country who are there to assist those who are homeless, despite their situations. But these organizations need our constant support and funding. Not only do these organizations help house the homeless, they are constantly working to prevent homelessness by assisting citizens who are impoverished. So many are convinced that homelessness is very expensive, but it is costing our country more to ignore it than it would cost to handle it. If we don't make an attempt, nothing will change. Homelessness has affected thousands of people for so many years. The issue has been solved, but it has not been properly executed. You can help this cause by sending a letter to Congress telling them to direct their investments to affordable housing and assistance grants. You can also help by assessing the issue of homelessness in your own community and observing how you can help the homeless population around you. We believe that homelessness has already been solved, but extra steps need to be taken to make homelessness completely disappear. Over 550,000 people suffer in America from homelessness. This number represents 17 out of every 10,000 people in the United States. We should do everything in our power to end the crisis of homelessness and give these unfortunate people another chance to have a home. And just like Rosalind Carter said, there's nothing more important than a good, safe, secure home.